My name is Karen Ebbinghaus and I'm the CEO of Elon Road. Our electrical road solution works for everyone, everywhere, in cities and on highways and for all kinds of vehicles. And that is really important because if we want to make a climate impact, we need to reduce both the size of batteries and the number. Hi, my name is Don Citrius. I'm the founder of Elon Road. So when you think about our solution, you have to think that this is a charging infrastructure. If you have the pickup on the vehicle, you also need an onboard charger to charge your batteries. So the energy you get from the road, you can use to drive outside the road. So you don't need 100% electric roads. Hi, I'm Andreas Sorensen and I'm the CTO of Elon Road. So this is the power station that uh, distributes all the power to the road. Inside we have uh, rectifiers that rectifies the voltage and we also have a safety system that controls and shut off the road if there would be any fault or malfunction. Power is then distributed out to the road via cables and uh, we also have cables inside the road uh, so the road is self-sustaining uh, and needs no other cablings. Inside the power is distributed out to uh, our pickup plates uh, and they are one meter long and uh, connected in a manner so that we have plus voltage and minus voltage on uh, every other plate. From there we can turn on the plates so when they turn red as here we have uh, the power turned on so every segment of the road is safe except underneath the vehicle where we pick up the power. So let me show you some uh, cool stuff. I have an augmented reality app and I want to show you an uh, augmented 3D pickup so you understand how it works. So here is a 3D model of the pickup. So we have three sliding contacts here reaching the rail and when the rail switch on the power the power goes up through the sliding contact and it's rectified on board. So we have a constant 600 volt DC up in the vehicle. So on the pickup there is an antenna sending a signal to the road and the receiving antennas in the road detects the vehicle uh, ID so it knows what vehicle is driving on the road and if everything is correct it switches on the power so it's kind of an access control and because we know the ID of the vehicle we can measure the energy so we actually have a billing solution built in the rail and my colleague Kim will explain that more. Uh, I'm Kim Svedmark and I'm the digital solution architect for Elon Road. As Don mentioned, uh, data is streaming throughout the road in, in, in all the individual components. And we pick up all this data along with uh, sensor data, uh, put it through our gateway that uh, moves the data to the cloud where we can use it for whatever purposes. So using all this data, we can make sure that uh, the road is operational at all times. And uh, that is important for a robust infrastructure. So uh, one of the things I would like to see uh, is some kind of warning system. If we could detect vehicles or even animals on the road, you, is there a way to stop to signalize to the vehicles? Yes, yeah, so, so there we can send the data to two, two uh, instances. We can, we can stream the data uh, into our operations center if there is an ac accident or something like that. And also we can uh, transmit the data to the vehicle so the driver can have a, a warning. So now we've heard about the technology, how it works, but how do you place it uh, in practice on the road? Well, as you can see, we have 10 meter long rails and we put them on the asphalt. We actually glue them on the asphalt and then we connect the 10 meter rails uh, through these kind of joints. So then we have cabling out to a power station that's connected to the grid. And how many power stations do you need? You need one power station every one and a half kilometer. That's the only drilling you need to do. So Dan, not only can you charge while you are driving, but also when you're parking, how does that work? Well, uh, you need the same pickup as you use on the road and uh, you have a short uh, rail instead of a long rail. 
and uh, it's an automatic park charger. So the only thing you need to do is switch off the car and the pickup goes down automatically and starts to charge. So you don't need any cables. That no, sounds yeah. really practical. Exactly. And actually the car behind us is a DHL car used at a terminal in Malmö and they've been running it for three months now. Behind me you see the first kilometer that we are building as a large scale project for a bus line in Lund, together with our consortium partners Evolution Road. We want to make a difference in how we transport people and goods. We want to make it safer, smarter and more energy efficient. 